welcome to season 10 of Aero League Racing. We are back for yet another game cycle of the F1 game series. We're here for F122, the fifth different entry of the game series that Aero League Racing will be participating in. And with you today, we have myself, we have Reaper Dude. Hi. And we have Seed Sabuma. Very good. And yeah, we're going to be going through quite a lot today. We're going to be making you guys wait for tier one, going starting off with Sprint League, working our way through the tiers from tier five down to tier one. We have had about 150 signups this season, but we've decided to limit ourselves to five tiers, try and make sure the attendance is as good as possible. And yeah, I think it's time we start getting into 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 what what's next staff team no, yeah. Steve. oh yes 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 right um yeah um brian will make sure that there is a very nice graph now visible <laughs> um, so yeah we've been uh through this earlier um i've posted in the discord for anyone who was already in the discord by the time then um on the first of july i posted a new update about uh all the rules and we will go through all the rules during this stream and we will further highlight um, the helpers, hosts, and also our commentary team. But here we already um, want to show you what uh, what the important yeah, big roles are for at least the upcoming time. And this is also included uh, for our helpers in the GT or ACC section. Um, so at the top, we have like the, the broad admin team, which consists out of... Um, the three owners of the Discord and of the League, it's myself together with Ryan, with RDO, uh, and also with Blue Jean. You can also ask him for any questions, especially Discord-wise. Um, he's always very happy to answer those. <laughs> um, and besides that, we of course have a lot of you already uh, know him for a while. He's doing a great job so far, Reaper Dude. Um, back as uh, a full-time, full-course admin. Luckily, we have him, uh, we have him back for the duty. Um, and for this year, we um, we thought it was a good idea to bring a third duchy in, uh, in the name of Rido King ninety eight, uh, and he will be also uh, someone you who you can ask questions to and etc. And uh, that's the whole um, yeah top admin team. So if you have important stuff, please come to us. Uh, so below that we have our four general helpers. Uh, we picked these four because they are also involved in. Uh, I think not only F1, I think a majority of them also play different games, um, which is kind of important for us to um, yeah, keep track of, because if people have like questions about something like GT or ACC um, uh, and also know how those games work, um, they can also tell stuff about it. Uh, and we have for that Fontenau, Cetai's Demon, known uh, for many of you as Matt, Black Charizard and Erminator. Uh, and especially Erminator is new in that category. He uh, uh, will also be known as a general helper in next uh, season, at least. Um, and our other staff is consistent out of helpers for different F1 tiers, helpers in the Gran Turismo and the Assetto Corsa section, which are ART Connor, Italiano Rigo, Simon K, Ross Storm, um, Flying From, Heide25, Garrett, and Mike Sands, of course, our big hero, our goat. <laughs> and um, yeah, we will go into depth and detail about this uh, later on. You can go on. But next up, we've got the calendar <clears throat> for season 10. Um, as many of you have been following our Twitter account um, and also Instagram account, uh, you should see they've been posted on there. So first up, on the 28th to the 31st of July, we have Azerbaijan as our start track. Um, which some of you may know a few years or a few seasons ago how that went. So it should be interesting this time. Followed up by Silverstone uh, between the 4th and 7th of August. Uh, Spain followed uh, on the 11th to the 14th uh, with a ob obvious uh, track adjustment. Uh, suits it quite well, actually, uh, I would think. Austria, uh, one of ALR's favourite tracks on the 18th to the 21st of August. Uh, then we head off to the great country of America, where we go to Austin, Texas first on the 25th to the 28th of August. And then on the 1st to the 4th, we have Miami, the new track for this season. 
Um, some of you participated in the social event, and it seemed to go quite well. A lot of you seemed to enjoy the track. Uh, followed by Hungary, 8th to the 11th of September. Uh, Monza, definitely a favourite by far for many people, um, especially with the new cars. It's going to be a little easier again through Ascari. That's uh, on the 15th to the 18th of September. Then we've got Abu Dhabi with the huge um, retrack of it. And that's on the 22nd to the 25th of September. Singapore on the 29th of uh, September to the 2nd of October. Then we're off to definitely one of my favourites, uh, Saudi Arabia, Jeddah on the 6th to the 9th. And then this year we decided to round it off with Japan on the 13th to the 16th of October. Uh, there's definitely a, a selection of tracks there and it's going to be an interesting season. I think personally I definitely prefer the first half of the calendar and we're looking to get some points on the board uh, and hoping to keep my run going in the second half where I don't think I'll be as confident sort of targeting Monza and Singapore as two tracks where I think I'll be all right at but apart from that I think I'm going to struggle towards the latter end of the season. Mm. Uma? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that Ryan is back, first of all, that he's actually racing. <laughs> and um, no, I think I um, I, I really like the opener there in, in this fact, uh, Azerbaijan. I think that's somewhat of an underrated opener in uh, in other leagues. You you don't really often see that. Um, good that we have like the, the new track of Miami on it. Uh, and I'm very happy with like the, the first part of the the like the second half, so the Hungary, Monza, Abu Dhabi, those are the three tracks that I think I will gain. Uh, that That's the option I voted for in the in the Twitter poll. Yeah. Speaking of that Twitter poll, I thought it was quite surprising for me personally that most people preferred the first three tracks and the final three. For me, I voted for the first three because back in Britain and Spain, I think that's a really good combination, but I didn't expect so many people to like Singapore, Jeddah and Japan as a ending combo, but you know, it's promising to see. Uh, that means that they are confident that they at least will drive those races and that they will perform well because it are not the most easy tracks. And it's also nice to see such a strong ending for a season as well. Anyway, I think we are okay to move on for something that is brand new to ALR for F1 2022, and that is some partnerships that we've got. We've got two brands that we think you guys will like and that we're going to be partnering up with for this season. The first one has been revealed already, and that is Aniba. Aniba is a website where you can get cheap gaming keys. You can get things like PSN memberships. You can get PSN top-up cards. Uh, and vouchers so you can buy your favorite games for even less than you'd be able to get them on the store and obviously there's the new f1 manager game coming out very soon you can get that for only around 30 pounds around 35 euros on steam instead of whatever <laughs> much i'll put it on screen however much you pay for it um if you just buy it straight through steam and then we have one more partnership which reaper will introduce to you yes um after months of back and forth, we can finally announce Driver 61 as a partnership. Um, they offer many different things. Um, some of them have been um, actually racing in real life on track, but they offer um, programs to help you to be able to improve your driving, um, or where to race without racing lines, how to do it properly, um, and, and the quickest way to do it. And they will deal with you one-to-one -one whilst doing it as well so you may join a track with 10 to 20 people but at the end of it they will sit there with a video conference with you at the end of it um there will be a link that we will get that we will post um shortly after this video is out and yeah you get a discount whenever you sign up for it as well um it is really really good um, I've spoken and dealt with uh, one of the gentlemen over there for quite some time and he's run me through it as well and it is actually pretty good. So I would definitely suggest watching the video um, and then heading over there and seeing if it can help you if you want to do anything better for yourself. Um, and I think then it's time to go through the allocations to 20 drivers who are going to full-time racing sprint league. Um, We've decided to select six reserves for this season. Um, 
So yeah, let's go through them in alphabetical uh, order. For Sprint League this year, we got Adam Milsey, Alu Palu, Bloodwave, Seatize Demon, who is back in Sprint, Cunninfern, El Truco, Erminator, Robin W10, Italiano Rigo, Jack Aleco, Joe Royal, Major Ecstasy, New Squid, Rainbow Energy, Reaper Dude, Tait Alphalassi, Me, Myself, Booba, Steba, 55, Fenderman, and Will the Game. Uh, and our reserves will be, and this is in Dutch, very nice to say, Groene Vogelkak, <laughs> Jordi the First, Luke Buse, Mel Guess, um, Papimo, and hopefully we also see Star Repas, our current Tier 1 champion, uh, in some of those races. And that's it, because we will go into the comps, hosts, and helpers uh, on a later point in this stream. So yeah, in terms of, uh, for me, for favourites for the Sprint League, I think it's all about consistency. So I think this is the most difficult one to call. Um, in terms of right now, if I had to give you an answer, I would say Swen, Bloodwave, and... Italiano Rigo will be up there. I'm going to try pick some some different names. Um, but yeah, those are my three calls for the title. That is not a different name, though. I would pick Sven also in my top three uh, any day for yeah. something like Sprint. <laughs> yeah, definitely for something like Sprint, I would have done the same for Sven. Uh, Jacko is another one. Yes, I would say the same. Yeah. Um, and also Robin. He's another one that's pretty good with consistency and he's definitely over previous seasons had the pace obviously we'll see if he manages to keep that over to this one but yeah my three are Sven, Jack and Robin yeah and, uh, and mine are mentioned but I want to say that like uh, if Stel didn't won the title last year it would have been Alupalu and nobody of you two mentioned him so far so let's, uh, let's give him some praise uh, I think Alu will do uh, great again in mm. probably the slowest cars but still Cool. So, moving on to Tier 5. Um, so, this will be held on Thursdays at 8pm. It will consist of the following. Um, Andy Winters, 11. Bo underscore 2603. Carsten, R1989. One-Eyed Falcon. CTS Demon. Dove, 91. Who used to be a dangerous dub? Hanan, Joker 10194, Jum Willem, Jody the First, JP Greenwood, Leon Sandu, who has come back after a season break, uh, so it's nice to see him on track again. Uh, Long term 5DS, Melgoose, Mike Stans 2001, Reno King 98, Said, Trems J, Twanak, and Wicked Profit are the 24 time drivers within tier 5. Um, so, moving on to the reserves, we have Abby274, Akasin7, Havinesh, Dudham22, and Xtrays will be the reserves of tier 5. So, looking at those names, I'm going to take a stab at the dark and go for. Twanak, Reno, and Dove as my three for potential fighters for for tier five. Yeah, yeah, I can see, I can see where you where you bring that. I think if if indeed uh, someone like Twanak comes up to speed, then he's a uh, he's a major threat in this uh, in this tier mm-hmm. five. Uh, and I don't know how what Leon's pace will be now he's back. So I'm curious to that. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for something different. I'm gonna say I think Reno is the favourite. I know that's been said before, but I think I think June Willem uh, showed pretty good place in the evaluation race, and I feel like he could have a shot at the title if he goes well. And I'm gonna say for a dark horse, I think Bo two six zero three. I know he's really consistent in Gran Turismo seven, so and he's got experience mm-hmm. battling for championships over there, so maybe he can bring that experience over here and do the same. That could be interesting to see. 
yeah let, let's go on then <laughs> yeah um, yeah let's go to our slower or slower our second uh, Sunday tier uh, tier 4 which will be at Sundays at 8pm of course always at 8pm UK time uh, and in that tier will be this year uh, first of all Atmo then Arctic Squirrel Betty Buno Cakes of V2 Killian474 Cullen Fern, Deadlock, o- uh, Deadlock 06, uh, Groene Vogelkak, <laughs> J O'Leary 83, uh, we got Johnny, um, Kesel 9992, Major Ecstasy, Markin 05, MBMA 05, New Squid 8, Poggle 13, which is the same Poggle as the Poggle from before, Rostorm, Pyrus F15, Swapsy2997 and Titchy Boom closing off the 20 full time drivers with reserves at the moment, which are DMAC2169, Mighty Chump, and Eli. Yeah, and those th- those are the ones for tier four, the the tier that was uh, once Reaper. I think that was your tier Reaper, right, last year. Yes, it was. And um yeah, I think for this, um, for this tier, what my, what my, yeah, my, I think Cillian can do very well. I think uh, Betty Buno, if he drives enough races, because he is prone to miss a race one or two. Uh, consistency wise, uh, Joe Leary is like my main pick. I think he will score points in every race if he is there. Um, and yeah, maybe. Uh, because we have here a, a former tier one driver in the form of Ross. Didn't really like the new game so far, but maybe he will uh, he will find his pace very quickly. So uh, what do you guys think? I also think Ross could be in there. First season on a wheel um, and without traction control. So I think once he gets up to speed with that, yeah, um, if he can do that really quickly, then yes, he could be up there. Um, so he's, I'm going to go top four. So he's number four for me. I agree with O'Leary. Uh, very consistent, very quick. Uh, last season in tier four, he scored in every race. Uh, Abmo, for me, he's got pace. Um, and he really pushed me last season as a teammate. Um, I think the second half of the season, he actually took over the driver number one spot, which was fine. He did, um, yeah, he did. Yeah. But the one, it's a choice of two, and I might get this wrong. Major, he was another one that had pace last season. Mm-hmm. I could be right. It was a toss up between him or Cillian. I'll put them both at the same pedestal. Mm. It's one of those two. I think for me, I'm going to say as a dark horse, I'm going to say Benny Bruno. I think he can do it if he if he gets consistency this season. Um, in terms of other people who are favourites, I'm gonna say I think Ross Thorn has to be up there in terms of he does have the pace. It's just how fast he can adapt. Um, I think he'll be one that you might see start the season off very slowly and then like work his way up. And then I think for me, I'm gonna I'm gonna root for my boy Cassell. Um, I had a really good title fight with him like over a year ago now. Um. And I think he came second or third in that title. And I think this time he'll be able to push it over the line. Yeah, I forgot him almost. Yeah, okay, so, yeah. Mm. It's now a uh, helper host uh, announced time, apparently. <laughs> yes, it is. We're going to take a little break from our tier reveals and we're going to go through and talk about some of the helpers and hosts that you guys will need to add. Um, and you guys can like head to whenever like your first point of contact whenever you have some questions. So starting off for the sprint league, we will have Boomer and Italiano. Rigo will be doing will be the, your first point of call for sprint league issues. For tier five, we'll have Reno and Matt or CTS Demon. For tier four, we will have CSD Boomer and Ross Thorn. For yeah. tier three, we'll have M Hyde and Reaper Dude. For tier two on Sundays, we will have Fontanu and Black Charizard three. And finally, our tier one drivers, if you ever need any help or assistance, you can head to Italiano Rigo and Erminator 31. 
and now Reaper will be able to go through the hosts that you need to add on PSN for each tier. Okay, so the hosts and backup hosts, uh, which are the two people you will need to add to be able to get your invites to your leagues. Uh, we'll start off with Sprint, which will be S Boomer 22 and Reaper Dude, myself. Tier 5, we will have Reno King 98 and Mike Sands 2001. Tier 4, we have Ross Storm and J O'Leary 83. Tier 3, uh, again myself, uh, Reaper Dude 83 and M Hyder 3. Uh, tier 2 is Fontanelle and HTTP Pyro. Um, and then for Tier 1 will be M Polehouse and Italiano Rigo. So they'll be the people you will need to add before the season starts um, if you want to get your invites and everything for your tiers. Um, also, if you can't make races, um, you have to let your host know. Yeah. as well as saying in the availability chat but yes. yeah I think no, it's time yeah. we get back to grids because I'm bored of this help host stuff and I want to find out what tier I'm in so tier 3 <laughs> you the... want to find out in which tier you are <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah go on <laughs> it's time for tier 3 our middle Thursday league this is a very varied grid I think is the best way of putting it let's put it on screen now we've got Adam Milsey, we've got Bang Average Seb, we've got Chris T347, El Truco, we've got Grayson returning from about season six or so, we've got Jamie H05, we've got Dre Bay, who's a new driver, then King David, followed by Luke Baeus1, followed by M Hyder3, then we've got a new driver in the form of Nice Face Dude, uh, then we've got Prezemu321, we have myself, Reaper Dude, S Boomer 22. Then we have Samet Turkman 97, Showin 89, who. Actually, no, I don't think he's a new driver. Then we've got Will the Game 91, Yusuf, and Zab DS. And then in terms of reserve, we've got AirPods Albert ABC, we've got Basket Emil 96, Instinct OP, Slimmy Cam 97, and the Naked Champ. I'm sure everyone wants to see him step up onto that top step of the podium. <laughs> so, yeah. Tell um, us, are you the favourite, Ryan? Tell am us. I the favourite? I think I'm yeah. going to be absolutely the favourite to finish P15 every race. In terms of <laughs> finishing first, though, I think oh, I think my favourite would be Yusuf. Um, I think someone who can run him pretty close would be Adam Milsey. And in terms of a dark horse, I'm gonna say Grayson. I'm gonna go with hmm. This is a hard one. Yusuf's definitely gonna be up there. Hyder possibly, as long as he doesn't make as many mistakes as he did last season, and he turns up to some of the races because uh, he did miss a few last season. However, because of how far he pushed me last season, um, and his consistency was really annoying. Jamie H05. Uh, yeah, there's like one name that has been mentioned so far, and that's King David. He absolutely obliterated Tier 2 last year before he left. Um, so, yeah, I think he can get used to a new game very quickly. Uh, maybe it's not really visible in the time. Uh, no, no, he's, he's fast, I think. Uh, so, yeah, King David. Um, I think, yeah, I, I can't deny that Yusuf will be up there. So, yeah, um, I think so. Uh, and I heard a dude called uh, Reaper Dude. I heard he's very quick <laughs> on this game, so uh, I have good hopes. A little, a little birdie told me he was going to be in tier one, but you know, straight up lied to me. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly went oh. on to adjust his time trial. No, no, no kidding, kidding. Hey, but uh, just, like, just because my one time or one track is enough to <laughs> mix amongst them, I was hoping the others would, but it didn't work out. No, true. And uh, it, it's very nice to see uh, also Jarebe in this tier, uh, because mm -hmm. I think if you want to uh, make a call for one of the most consistent drivers in this tier, um, you could put his money on him, I believe. And obviously there is the absolute goat of the tier that nobody has mentioned yet and is obviously going to win every race apart from the first oh, three. Yeah. Uh, obviously Boomer 22 can we have a round of applause? I'm gonna spit. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to say El Truco because that would also be fitting. 
but no, I, th- I think Boomer's going to be up there as it's like fighting consistently. Um, I also think you are as well, audio, uh, audio on special number of tracks. Um, yeah, we've just got a fight for P12. Okay, cool. Right, moving on. Uh, to... Oh yeah, yeah, that's your tier. Yeah. Yes, moving on to tier two, uh, which is the other Sunday race. Um, we have Black Charizard three, BRZ Pepto, BISD SPM, Easy Level Bot, EKG Ahmed, Eladaro Yolo. Robin W010, Fontanel, HTTP Pyro, Jacko Lacko 4, Jack Kings, Justaman, Mandrill PR, Nicer Malino, Oswaldo, Papimo, Rainbow Energy 23, Ruler Ruler, Caesar 1310, and Temper 199. Those are our 20 drivers uh, for our second highest tier within the league. And rounding off with the uh, four reserves we have currently for them is CRL Nacho, Lasso7, Smathers, and Tease the AS1 Tiz. So going with uh, tier two, my three, I am probably going to go with Pyro being one of them. He does seem to have quite a bit of pace uh, on this game already, which is good to see. Uh, CI is another one. And just a man are my three for this one. Just looking at those names, those are the three I'll go for. Mm. Well, yeah. Um, let me see. I, I don't know much about what. Like the paces of a lot, no, a, a bit. I know a bit, but sorry, I forgot a name. Yeah, Ahmed. Yeah, you did. He's winning it. <laughs> yeah, I hope Ahmed indeed gets some uh, resistance from some other drivers. I hope um, Ella will step up and not retire that much and actually show his pace because I hope he has. Uh, we have a reigning tier two champion here in the form of Jacko Lacko. Um, yeah, and I have good faith in like a dark horse, I think, for myself, uh, and that's Roller Rula. Uh, I think he really adapted great for, on this new game. He was already tier two pace uh, last season, but I think he can really fight for the top spots uh, this time. And I think like um, for any of the reserves, if they race, they are all race winning or race. A- uh, they are able to win the race if they race. For all the reserves, if you get what I mean. Uh, especially for Smathers, who won the plus from the past event. Am I right? Yeah, he did. And obviously, first, in um, his first yes, time... Yes, he did. In his first time at ALR, he was pretty much going to win the Tier 2 title. And he was challenging for the Sprint League title as well in Season 4. But obviously, had to leave because yeah. he started a new job, which means that he has poor availability and obviously signs up for a reserve spot because of that. Um mm-hmm. yeah. For me, I'm I'm gonna throw my guy Biazi Pepito. Man joined with a Thierry on reprofile picture. How can I not put him in my top three? Um, I'm gonna say Jag Kings. I think he showed pretty good pace in the evaluation race. And uh, I'm gonna say my favourite, bar the obvious, is gonna be Rola Rula, who I I don't know. I just have a good feeling about about yeah, him this too, season. Yeah. I'm hyping him up so much now. And he's going to come and spin <laughs> five times in Baku I mean, and get a puncture I mean, on the last lap. Yeah. I mean, there's so many good names in there. You can't really just pick out three or four. Yeah. Yeah. It's um, def- oh, yeah. It's definitely a grid that is stacked from top to bottom. But I think it's time for you to discuss our commentary team for this season. Yes. Yes, definitely. Uh, we tried to uh, pick the best of the best uh, and we again failed this year. No, kidding. Um, but yeah, let's go through the commentators uh, and for all the uh, the people who loved uh, the joint commentary by me and Reaper, uh, we're sorry. We will maybe fill in for someone else, but we're not on the full-time uh, slot. So not this for... season. No, no, not this season. Uh, so for Sprint, we got uh, HTTP Pyro, which is uh, one of the greatest commentators AOR has known. And I hope that is not a, too much of an ego boost for himself. Um, but yeah, we are glad to have him back on the action-packed Sprint races. 
Um, for tier 5, you've got Black Charizard 3, who will be covering those races. Um, yeah, Resident Commentary c Demon is back for tier 4 this season. Um, so yeah, be sure to behave yourself in that tier, because uh, uh, Matt sees everything and uh, will call you out on it. Um, for tier 3, we have like also a mixed pair, but just a different mixed pair. Uh, this time consisting out of Rostorm and Fontenau. And that's mainly because um, uh, not one of them can actually make it each week. So they just will fill each other in, help each other. Maybe they do back-to-back -back commentary. We would love to see that. Um, and then following for tier 2, we got Urbanator 31. Uh, back to comes duties. And for tier 1, no changes with Pyro also uh, commentating our top tier next season. But Anyway, I think it's the time for the one you've all been waiting for, and that is Tier 1 on a Thursday uh, Top Division at ALR. Something quickly before we get into this, we do have a really cool mixture, and I think it's a really, really close grid this season. Um, mm -hmm. Closer than what we've had in the past few seasons, definitely. I think we've got a mixture of people that are insane at time trial pace, but maybe didn't perform as well in the evaluation. We've even got some people who by the looks of it on first lines at time troll doesn't look like they're a tier one driver but looking in more detail at their race pace they were incredible like there's one guy who sort of stands out to me and that is tt pace looked like mid tier two level um but his race pace was actually the sixth fastest in all of tier one so it can definitely be challenging for wins but you guys ready to go through the grid yeah sure do let's it. do it so, kicking things off, we've got a new driver, Akbelito. Then we've got Alu Palu 22 returning. We've got BR4 JK, Big Bambino, Blood Wave, Boba Fed 25, followed by Erminator, EVG Donny, Ishta. Then we've got VER Aisha, I'm guessing it's going to be. Um, Italiano Rigo, followed by Jaguar Power. Then we've got Yalo Ron 010 returning. Joe Royal, M. Polhui, M. Wilt27. Then we've got Ode Cutie, Renz B, Staber55, and Swen the Men rounding out the full time drivers. In terms of reserves, we've got Arkra25, Barak Shalom, Jaim99 PSV, Miezko3, and Estelle Rapas, our defending champion. In... What a grip. Yeah, it's crazy stacked, and once again, it's another one that's really tough to just pick three people from. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for four. I'm gonna, say, I'm, I'm gonna say two dark horses, and then my two favorites. So in terms of dark horse number one, I'm gonna say Ishta. You know why not? He showed very mm -hmm. good pace, especially at Silverstone. I think it was in a time trial. One of the tracks was just like really, really good time, and obviously in a social race, he was very dominant coming home to take the win someone else who was very dominant in the social race was Staber actually and I know this might throw a few people off uh, picking him as a dark horse for the title but I think in terms, in terms of pure pace he's up there with the best of the best yeah. in tier one it's just whether he can keep the consistency and keep out the wall really which you know we know what he likes to be in the wall um, <laughs> and in terms of my two favorites in second place I'm gonna say M. Polhui, I think his time trial pace is probably like third or fourth best like he's incredible um his race pace as well seemed really really well he just sort of tailed off towards the end of the evaluation race whether it was um tire wear or just you know loss of concentration because it was maybe a lonely race for him being quite out ahead for for most of the first stint and my favorite for tier one is going to be a brand new driver Renz b his time trial place is fantastic we haven't really seen him uh in a full 50 percent race around people but you know this will be his time to shine at season 10 and i'm putting all the pressure on him nice <laughs> um well yeah uh, tier one very great and stacked grid this season and i agree with audio said that there's not really one big favorite and that's mainly because i think the two fastest drivers have both signed up to be a reserve here those are Accra and barack um so that gives the opportunity for someone who can be there like every race to snatch the title this year and i think i actually agree on ishter being a dark horse i also agree on that paul house is very much a favorite um 
Um, but I'm gonna say some different names. I think Boba Fett will do great after he um, adjusted to the fact that uh, I think he had something also with his steer or steering wheel, or he had something. Assist. I don't know, but ah, uh, yeah, assist wise maybe. But uh, eventually, he just found his pace back in time. Um, so I hope he will do great. Um, yeah, and 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 next, yeah. Um. Joe can be like still a very dangerous person in 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 any high tier, um, and yeah, there are indeed like also Ryan said there are people with not really a big uh, time trial pace. So maybe in qualify they will really struggle to qualify top ten. But for example, a Sender Man who is like I think he has the eighteenth quality pace of this whole tier, and he has like the sixth or seventh race pace. So um, keeping out of trouble, keeping out of problems, uh, doing your consistent laps, don't get any damage, and having that race pace can bring you far. And that's hope I uh, that's the hope I have for Sven to see uh, regular points finishes for him. Yeah, I mean, if we talk about site reserves, uh, Barak and Arco, yeah, <clears throat> they they will snatch points wherever they can. Full time drivers. Joe's definitely on there for me. Um, he he showed some pretty good pace on the Eval race. Um, my dark horse is going to be Bloodwave because he does show some some pretty good pace overall. Um, let's just hope he doesn't spin too much um, to be able to do that. Stebber as well. Yep. Yeah. Um, and also Ishta is definitely another one. You've got to put them in there. But with the, with the grid, like we said, that is, is so stacked the way it is. Yeah. You, you're maybe, going to be seeing so many fights on that track. Yeah. Maybe suddenly uh, an Erminator or an Italiano will rise to the front. You, you never know. It's yeah. really possible. And they are the, the type of people that will be sat there just waiting to pounce on that. that tiny opportunity that's given and um, with the gaps being so close between drivers in this tier you could see a lot of races being won on penalties like we saw mm-hmm. in the blast from the past event paul Hui did have really good pace then but he was actually pipped by a, what like half or five hundredths or something um smart has managed to beat him just because he was more consistent in terms of track limits oh wow that's also a factor yeah, yeah so that could be that could be something else that plays into it could be interesting. It's going to be interesting to watch this season. Perfectly. Okay. I think uh, that was uh, that was it. We also don't want to make this trip too long, I think, right? Because we had ones in the past, a very long one. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we will post all this info also in the Discord, of course. People will be assigned to the correct tiers uh, after the stream. Uh, yeah, has been uh, that goes out premiered. tomorrow, doesn't it? Um, don't yeah. say that. Don't we, say that. We do this live. Yeah, this is completely live. Um, this is completely yeah, we, live. We see you all typing <laughs> in chat. Hello, person. hello everyone. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Oh, Thank you for joining oh, us. Oh, you're pissed about your place. Oh, no kidding. But, yeah, if you are pissed about your placement, we apologise. You know, we're doing the best we can uh, yeah. with people's availability and obviously how much data we have to go through. Um, the staff will be working away, like giving you guys access to your tiers, where you'll be able to choose your teammates and choose your top three car choices. Um, so go and pester yeah. them if you have any problems. I guess is what I'm saying. Not yeah. me. Leave me alone, please. No, and also uh, read carefully in uh, if if you have access to all the the tier chats, read carefully in all those chats because a lot of your questions can already be answered by messages that are already being posted there. But yeah, I think that's pretty much everything that we have to go through. So um, mm. we're going to leave you guys with a trailer um, to round things off and get you all excited for season 10, which begins on Thursday. Um, but apart from that, it's bye bye from me. And from bye-bye. me. And from me. You, you.
Right, so away we go here in Azerbaijan.